SLC Scoop, the insider's take on Rugby World Cup 2011. There was an opening ceremony for the World Cup as tournaments always have opening ceremonies and I personally think that opening ceremonies are the biggest waste of time that you could ever have. I mean really, they get those weird dancers to dance and do abstract things that we don't know what's going on and then they have a has-been local singer like sort of the New Zealand equivalent of Mango Groove singing songs that we don't want to hear. So I think that they, we should not have opening ceremonies or closing ceremonies. What we should just have is they should just tell us that the first game is on at 10 o'clock that's South African time, but the first game is on at whatever time, New Zealand time, and we'll start watching from there. Or they should just, to the rest of the world, they should show us the opening ceremony of another tournament. Like, show us the World Cup soccer's opening ceremony, and then just cut and paste Jacob Zuma and Seb Blatt and put in all the rugby people there. Opening ceremonies, www.wasteoftimeandmoney.com, and you'll find every opening ceremony that there ever has been in the world. So I'm not going to comment on that. One of the positives is we beat Wales, which was good. A negative is that we beat Wales by only one point, which pretty much says that we aren't going to beat New Zealand or Australia if we tell the truth, unless some sort of miracle happens, unless Jesus himself comes and plays fly half for us. But uh, Jesus is busy with other things. Uh, I, the players played well though, they, they got stuck in, I can say. It was wet conditions. Peter de Villiers complained that at the ruck, they didn't know what was going on. But let's face it, at the Ruck, nobody knows what's going on. It's just a free-for-all when it comes to that rule. People go, oh, if, if the ref gives it to you, then you go like, okay, yes, he was right. He was right. But if the ref gives it against you, then you say he was wrong. But when they go, no one knows what the rule is, so why do we keep on pretending we know? We know some of the rules, but that rule, when it comes to scrummaging, nobody knows the rule, least of all Peter de Villiers. I can tell you that much. Salsi Scoop, the insider's take on Rugby World Cup 2011.